I've been with RFG oh, almost two years now. Uh, prior to that, you know, I've got over 12 years of experience in the advertising marketing industry. Started out in the advertising world, working on you know, big clients like Johnson & Johnson and Burger King. Um, you know, then moved over to, to the States, and we stint over there working on uh, big clients like you know, Pepsi, worked on Pepsi for five years, uh, did some te telecommunications with AT&T, um, also worked at Pizza Hut over there, so the franchising, uh, some franchising experience um, in, the, in the QSR industry. Um, and then moved back to Australia and started working for uh, a smaller company, you know, health and wellness, you know, food as well, and then moved over to RFG. So I've always, you know, had a passion for retail and food. It's kind of been the constant in my background. Um, it's what I enjoy. All right, as you know, RFG is a, is a big brand. You know, we have uh, eight or nine brands now under the RFG umbrella. Esquire is a brand new, exciting brand that's we, that we're launching in Australia. So we're small now, but we have big plans for growth. And our team is also small, so we're more like a close family. We have, uh, I myself head up the brand, so I'm the brand system manager. So I manage you know, the, the business, the direction of the business, the strategy moving forward, growth. Uh, we have a marketing, dedicated marketing person who manages the marketing. You know, she works very closely with each franchisee on a local level to make sure that store gets exposure in that market and we grow that customer base. We have a supply chain person who works with each of our franchisees as well to ensure that they get all their products they need on time every week. Um, it's very important because all the products we have in store are made fresh every day. We also have a brand operations manager who also works very closely with each franchisee to ensure that they're compliant, you know, they know what they're doing, they're following the processes and the store operations run smoothly in the week over week. We also have a sales and leasing expert whose job is to grow brand, grow store numbers. So we're looking at a lot of opportunities, all very exciting to grow this brand. Um, and together, you know, we're a well old machine. The Esquire's coffee brand is just a little bit special in my mind. You know, we, we're in a very saturated market. There's coffee providers everywhere you look. But Esquire's really addresses a gap in the market, we feel. We provide premium quality coffee. Um, food that's fresh made on site, it's good quality, we've, have, we've got healthy options. So you're not going to see those in a lot of those chain store, coffee stores out there. So I think that's rather unique to Esquire's. Um, we have a technology offering in store. So everybody's wired these days. We've got free Wi-Fi, so anybody can come in with their device and stay connected. We've got entertainment for kids. You know, we've got uh, a playground in some of our stores. And moving forward, we're going to be having digital entertainment areas for kids as well. We have a tech bar, so we have tablets available for customers to cruise, check the news while they wait for their coffee or while they drink their coffee. So we also have phone recharge stations, so if you are running low, you can plug in your phone and not have to worry about running out of charge for the day. Community is another really important um, aspect for us clients. You know, we're small now, so being the the destination coffee shop in the community is so important for us. In, in relation to that, partnering with uh, local businesses, with schools, sponsoring sports clubs, um, recognizing the, the individuals in the community is, is important for the brand and it's something that we, we are working with the franchises very closely with to evolve and grow and really root in each specific um, area that we're in. So sustainability is another important platform for the brand. We only use 100% organic coffee, and uh, a lot of our shop fit elements are made from uh, recycled or reclaimed materials. So a lot of the timber that we use in our cladding uh, actually comes from old barn houses. And, um, our soft furnishings also reflect recycled materials. Our coffee tables are made from recycled wine barrels. Um, our ottomans use recycled Hessian bags. So there's a lot of really cool things people will notice when they walk into a store that does tell a story about where those materials come from. Another thing I do want to mention about Esquire's is convenience. Um, everybody's on the go these days. Everybody's time for so. All our products do cater to that need. All our, all our food is developed with the grab-and-go uh, function in mind. 
so they're easy to eat, you can eat them on the go, which is why our drive through wellness stores are such a big opportunity. Everybody's time for them on the run. Moms are driving their kids to work, they haven't got time to get out, car, get the kids out, go inside, pack the kids up, back, back up and get back into the car. So that's why the drive through is such a convenient option for these people. Even people going to work every morning, you know, who don't want to get out, get back in. Um, we're not disrupting the daily routine. We're, we're fitting into that daily routine for them, making it more of a pleasurable experience. So, you know, we do see a lot of you know, tradies early in the morning coming through in our drive throughs We've got the, the, the blue collar, the white collar workers, the moms, people going to the gym. Really anybody and everybody we see coming through that drive through It's just anybody who appreciates the convenience and the high quality coffee we serve and the fresh food. So it's pretty much everything. In regards to our food, another big trend we're seeing is, is healthier options, you know, in a convenient form. So we have freshly squeezed juices, uh, that's a product that we offer up in our, in our stores. And we also have um, vegetarian options as well. So these are all fresh made on site and provide a, a healthier option for those who are looking for convenience and a fast meal option but not willing to compromise on health. So as far as coffee, we have a lot of different store types available um, that fit pretty much every, every person and every lifestyle. Um, our drive through model obviously is our, our most exciting model that we, we have available. It's really like two businesses in one. You've got your customers coming into the in-store cafe and then you've got your drive through store customers. Um, so it's, it's, a large for, it's a larger format, it's a, it's a higher investment but it's also a high opportunity model. We've also got our kiosks, you know, more traditional in a sense in, in, in our shopping centres. So you know, you, you'd all be very familiar with those. Hole in the wall model is also one that we've pioneered with the brand. It's a very, very small, small format. Traditionally no seating. Uh, really it can be operated by one or two people and uh, you know, low overhead costs there. We've also got our, our coffee cart option, which really is just that coffee cart. Um, again, very, very small operation, can be operated by one person. A lot of flexibility with that model, um, but you know, limited, uh, limited good offer because it is such a small format. And we've also got our tra traditional inline store, which many of you would be very familiar with as well, which is you know, similar to kiosk, same offering, you know, uh, a food, broad food and beverage offering offers the um, dining room area for guests who want to sit and eat in. Uh, when we're looking for potential franchisees, we are looking for people who do share that passion in coffee and great quality cafe style food like we all do. We would prefer them to have either retail or food experience as that does bring some you know, knowledge to the table and help them you know, jump start into the role. Um, at our Chief, we do provide full training for all our franchisees. Uh, we have a very extensive training program here. Um, over four weeks of training, in fact, involves all aspects of our small business from actually production, making the food, to operating a store, to hiring staff, training, training new staff, and of course, coffee training. We want to make sure that we arm you with the knowledge to make the best of coffee. We have a four level coffee training program uh, from beginners at level one to expert barista at level four. Ideally we want uh, every franchisee to be at level four, but we understand that that takes time. But we believe that with the, the passion that you guys have and your interest, um, that should be easily achieved. So another great feature that RFG has as part of their training program is what we call Riot. It's a fully digital platform that allows the, tr the trainee to access it on their time and basically train on their terms. So for the franchisee, it means coming in during their new franchising training, completing all the modules, going through the theory and taking those tests while they're here in, at the RFG Academy. Then they, then they can take that back into their store and get their staff trained up in it using the same tool. And in fact, get them trained up prior to that staff member even starting their first shift. So they're coming in with a basic knowledge. Part of the strength in the SY system is coffee. We're all about coffee knowledge, we're about sharing coffee knowledge for our customers. So part of the training program involves really instilling that knowledge into each and every one of our franchisees and ensuring that that builds in the staff that you hire and then carries on into the information that's shared with the customer.
Um, our motto is "What you help is our tagline." So it runs through every everything that we do, from every cup of coffee we serve to every customer we greet through the door to every car we walk through the drive through. If you've enjoyed hearing all about Esquire's coffee as much as I've enjoyed telling you about it and think you've got what it takes to be one of our franchisees, give us a call. If in, the, in the event that you're successful, I look forward to meeting with you and welcoming you to the Esquire's family. typical of a lot of people here at Retail Food Group as being someone who comes from the industry and has spent a lot of time working in the area as well as of course um, focusing on those professional areas in my case learning and development and that's really helped when we've done things like develop our coffee training program here at Retail Food Group. We've got a really strong coffee training program which is so important to a brand like Esquire's that really prides itself on quality that's fantastic and so much better than competitors. So our coffee training program gives national accreditation to their franchisees. And more importantly, it allows franchisees to ensure that their staff can achieve national accreditation as well as strong coffee skills. So we do that through a combination approach. Here in the academy, working with a variety of different specialists, including, of course, our barista trainers. These are guys that eat, breathe, sleep coffee in every way, shape and form and can help guide you, the novice, who possibly has never touched a machine before, out to making fantastic coffee. And how to go that next level from making great coffee to becoming a barista and barista level. So our coffee training systems that we have in place will help grow you just the same as any other area of our Squires business. A really key part for each franchisee is the opportunity to form the relationships with the brand team and the relationships with their RFG franchisor who is here to help support them along their journey as a business owner. So as part of the training process, they get access to each of those key elements that they're going to need going forward as a successful franchisee. So the marketing unit here is taught by, yep, you guessed it, the Esquire's marketing team. The operations component is taught by the operations team. So not only can they give you the knowledge, but give you the knowledge of what to expect from an Esquire's context. What does that mean for a good number and a bad number? What does that mean for a, um, making sure that I'm set up well with the right local store marketing? And what sort of signage should I have in place in my store if I'm really going to grow my Esquire's business? So forming those relationships with each of our key people in the team is a real key part of why we have our national office training and our academy together so that you can build that knowledge as well as the underpinning systems that makes your business successful. Each, to be a successful business owner today and particularly in cafes and our competitive coffee environment, it requires a blend of skills. You've got to make fantastic coffee, absolutely no doubt about it, but it's also the underpinning things. It's about making sure your grinder is correct and your dishwasher is working correctly and all of those elements. So, here during your training, you'll do a blended program. You'll learn practical, hands-on skills in our Purpose-Built Training Academy. You'll simulate those skills in our shop uh, where you'll service um, pretend uh, real customers um, in here and make coffees and have all of those quirky things and enter data into your point of sale system and have to make change and all of those things that are so crucial. And then you'll go and practice that in real stores, in a real hands-on environment with real customers. And of course you need some underpinning knowledge. So you'll learn some of the theory behind how do I select the right employee for my Esquire's business and how do I write a roster and of course all of the things like ingredient control and all of the other elements that help make sure your business is successful. 
every franchisee needs to be able to not just be successful, but pass on some of those key strategies of success to their team. So they need to pass on those coffee skills and pass on those food handling skills and of course all of those service skills that are crucial to making your squire successful. So while you're here at training you'll receive a kit, a goodie bag and all of the bits that you need in order to make that successful. Things like a manual that helps tell me exactly how much milk should I have in every cup of coffee and what is my froth depth and how should I present my product for sale and how does my cabinet need to look if I'm going to draw the eye and attract the customer. So you'll have manuals that will assist you with that. You'll have cheat sheets, you'll have learning guides, you'll have wall charts. All of those different things that we know and we've tested work uh, and are required to help make sure you're successful. It's a key part of why you're here. It also includes things like our Riot system. So our RFG information and online training platform. It's a learning management system really. So our learning management system, so our Riot system, also gives you access to our newsletters, our key forms, our documents, and of course things change and they evolve, particularly in Esquires as the business grows to take advantage of all the different things that are out there in retail. So your Riot system is one of the key ways that you as a franchisee keep up to date with that information. We work a mixture of different hours while you do your training here at the National Office in our Training Academy. And of course, um, cafes are, uh, are a dynamic area as we trade seven days. Um, so you'll train here in the Academy during the week. You'll also train in one of our test locations or our franchisee stores during the training process. So you can experience and practice your craft on a real Saturday with real people and of course all of the real little bits that go along with retail. So there'll be nights involved, there'll be mornings involved and why it's normally around about 7.30 to around about 4, it varies every day and every week as you grow. And it's important that franchisees are prepared for that process along the way. Esquire's business, every business is different and if we look at our Esquire's program overall it's a blended approach of theory and practical skills um, and of course hands-on components. So generally our theory represents around about a quarter of our program. Coffee represents a little bit more than a quarter of our program for a brand like Esquire's and then there's that chunk in between about practicing all of those elements together in a simulated or a real environment as well as the underpinning components. My name's Jenny Ross and I work at Esquire's Puma drive Through. I've been here since the store I first opened, which we opened about three weeks before Christmas, uh, which was a busy time. I've had many chances of or opportunities of dealing with staff, dealing with food. So it was one of the things that they were looking at with someone who had a background in food, in presentation and also service. It's very hard to choose and to know which hours are going to be busy. So as far as staffing, you don't know how many cars are going to drive through per minute or per hour, so you just have to have the basis of staff on and then those on have to rise to the next level to, to get the coffees out because you can't just call someone else in. We had quite intensive training at RFG headquarters in numerous weeks where they trained us on coffees, they trained us on food, they trained us on all the chemicals that RFG uses. So someone who had made coffees for a long time, I thought that I could make coffee but I had to learn the way that the brand was going to be presented and the quality is very high and presentation of the coffee. So I sort of uh, felt like I was back at school, which was good. The coffee at Esquires is a fair trade and also organic coffee. There was a certain quality that we learnt in RFG training of each coffee being presented the same way and each staff member presenting the coffee in the same way. We also sell a range of cold beverages that includes mochas and frappes which has a coffee shot in them. Uh, they have the opportunity also if the customer wants to have an extra shot in their coffee. So each coffee is made to the customer's taste and especially on drive through it's very important that Aspire's coffee is the same, made the same by every staff member and that each time a customer comes through drive through they receive the same quality of coffee each time. Yeah, our staff at Esquires are all trained by the baristas at RFG, so it didn't matter whether anyone had 
training in coffee before because they were trained from scratch and sometimes it's actually easier to train staff who didn't have any previous knowledge in coffee as I found than rather than someone that had preconceived ideas. So Aspire's coffee is always made exactly the same way each and every time. Our cafe is been made out of recycled products as well to show that um, it's a caring environment. We have iPads for the kids and also for adults. We have free Wi-Fi. If someone's working in the area and they need to do some work on their laptop, they can come in and receive a Wi-Fi and using it as their mobile office. We have a playground for the children and it's very, I think, a, a funky upmarket type cafe that people feel very comfortable either sitting inside or outside. We do use Riot at Aspires and we also, all our staff are trained on Riot. Everybody is given a Riot code that they can get on at their own time. They can access this as far as hospitality training, uh, the chemicals that we use, health and safety as well. So everyone is trained on Riot before they actually enter the store and begin work. They can also use Riot to brush up on their coffee skills at any time, to sit the next level of uh, barista coffee making. The Beans is a newsletter that comes out on Riot that is available to every staff and they can join in competitions uh, of latte art as a, as a store. So we'll try and put in a couple of teams just to sort of compete with the others to sort of say we're doing great coffee, have a look. So we're looking forward to that later on in this year. The day in my life here at uh, Coomera Squires, it varies from a 4am start to a 7pm finish. So I can um, I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and summer's been great. Not sure how winter's going to go, but looking forward to that as well. And uh, I'll start here at 4, uh, get all the furniture out, turn the ovens on, get the coffee machines ready, uh, season the coffee machines. And then at 4.30 we have staff that come in to start uh, prepping food. The cabinet is ready to go at 5 o'clock when we normally get our first order for breakfast and coffees. At Aspire, as part of my role, I have to um, make sure I have enough time for ordering of supplies that have to come in. Uh, we can't run out of supplies, so that has to be on a day-to-day -day basis. I also have to find time for rostering, uh, for dealing with staff that may be ringing in sick or unable to complete shifts. Uh, we also have banking that we do every evening, and we have the tills and, and the normal day-to-day -day business that has to be taken care of as well. The Aspire's point of sale is quite uh, intensive. It actually will tell me exactly how many hot drinks, cold drinks I've made. It will also tell me per hour what was our busiest time. So at the end of the night we do a printout of hour by hour, which is quite interesting because you might think, oh, that was a really busy day, but you may have only had like a couple of peaks as well. So it, it also shows the staff of, of why I'm rostering them on at certain times. They might question it when I can say, look, we've just done 109 coffees in that one hour. So it will also tell me how many cars go through drive through I think the, we've had 56 go through in an hour, which is nearly one a minute, which is pretty good and surprising. So it's nice to be able to tell head office and to tell people we're going through how many kilos of beans we've made, 200 coffees for the day. So the, the actual machine will give us these reports. It's very satisfying to be part of a new brand that is wise and especially on the Gold Coast, to have the first drive through has been really great and it's a wonderful opportunity for the area which is a growing area for schools, for kids, for busy mums, for tradesmen in the morning. So it's just to see a nice cross section too of families that come in on a daily basis. Um, yeah, and it's, it's just nice to be part of something that's new and exciting and fresh. My name is Kerry Clark. I've been in, in, in um, store for four months now. So a typical an open day for me is coming, I turn all the machines on, I turn the ovens on, we, we start getting all the food prep ready, uh, we set up all the machines, get ready for dry through because our dry through gets hit bang on 5 o'clock by all the tradies. So we get about between 60 and 100 cars in the first hour. Basically from 4 o'clock to 12 o'clock <laughs> we get hit big time. Yeah, but it, it's, it's great. It's, 
you know, it's, it's all the training I undertook to become an Esquire store manager was at headquarters we did coffee training, food prep, we did a lot of theory classes relating to um, like staffing, rosters and all the legal legalities of how business runs, franchise, that type thing. After we opened here the support I received was the best support ever. Um, any questions I had, there was always someone someone to call or someone always on site. Um, we all we all would always communicate through email. There was no never anybody that I couldn't fall back on to ask questions or anything like that. There's always there's always there's a huge support network here which makes my life easier. And then therefore has a um, kind of a ripple effect through the staff. Yeah, no, I learnt a lot. I mean I've been doing coffee for years but uh, coming here I just I learned so much more. The kind of coffee training we had was pretty intense. Um, Esquire's has a 100% pass rate. You've got to pass that 100% to be able to make really good coffee and work here. So we sell 100% organic coffee and we support fair trade farmers, which is awesome for me. I really enjoy that part of the store. So every cup of coffee you buy helps. Helps a farmer out, so that's that's a bonus. <laughs>